Hustling. What's going on, everybody? It's Mike Hustling with the news. And look, yesterday it was reported all over many different platforms and all over news publications that Houston rapper by the name of D-Baby got his truck shot up and he was fatally killed or fatally unalive, whatever the terms that they're using today, but you know what I mean. Like I said, a lot of publications publish this story, including, you know, World Star that we're looking at right now and showing the truck riddled with bullets. But this is why Mike Hudson user waits for the whole report to come out before we post a lot of stuff because we don't want to be jumping on the bandwagon or trying to RIP somebody if the news is false. So let me show y'all what I'm talking about because the news has came out that D-Baby is actually in good condition. D-Baby is actually in good shape. Right here in this article, it said Houston-based rapper D-Baby was not shot last night. His team confirmed on Tuesday denouncing earlier reports. Earlier, it was widely reported on social media that D-Baby got involved in the shooting incident that unfolded at Sitco Gas Station Monday and that he was apparently shot there. Well, his manager was the one that actually come out and debunk the whole thing by letting y'all know. He said, y'all dry post that about us. We good, I promise. Whole 8 ENT was asleep. He posted another one and said, D-Baby good, I promise y'all, we just woke up. So then that begs the question, what really happened? Because we know that a shooting happened. We go back here. We see it right there. It's evident. Whole truck riddled with bullets. They said that one Houston rapper had passed away and another person, you know what I'm saying, was injured. So what really happened if it wasn't D-Baby, then who was it? Well, People, let me show you who it was. And this is going to surprise you because it surprised me. Check this out. And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. The son of the Dominican Republic, president of lower house of Congress, is the man who died in a gangland-type shooting in Houston last night. 34-year-old Luis Alfredo Pacheco Rojas, known by his rap name as El Picante, died after being struck by a hail of gunfire at a gas station on South Wayside Monday night. He was living in America, pursuing his rap career, and also worked as a DJ. His father tweeted about the loss of his son's life in America. The other shooting victim was hospitalized. Now, the Houston Police Department has released photos of the gunman who opened fire on the Cadillac Escalade. El Picante was riding in and was parked at a convenience store around 7-ish Monday night. This rises to the level of an international incident. Let's see what happens with it. And reps and family members of another rapper, DeBaby, said says he was not harmed, despite what some have claimed on social media. We'll be right back here on The Factor. Well, we don't have to be right back on The Factor, but, you know, we are right back with Mike Hustling with the news. Look, the person who was killed, y'all, was a Dominican Republic politician rapper's son, El Picante, as it says there, was killed in Memphis at a Houston gas station shooting. So this is why we, we usually wait on, you know, saying publishing stuff like this. And when we get news of, uh, you know, rappers that have died or people that have passed away or, you know, things that have happened to them, because we want to make sure that we get the full report. We want to make sure that we get the accurate report before we start putting news out there. If y'all go to Instagram, y'all will notice that we did not post about this incident, nor do we like posting about incidents where rappers pass away. Because, you know, even though we do feel for the family, we do feel for, you know, the people out there that are affected by this, you know, we don't, we don't want to further encourage it or boost it or, you know, get any kind of recognition or likes off of it. And a lot of people ask me personally, why don't you post on it? You know what I'm saying? It can make your platform bigger. It can make you uh, get more attention. Nah, 
I don't want to do that. It's actually a video that's floating around right now showing the actual shooting of this particular rapper. Showing the actual truck being shot up. I'm not posting that. And I don't think nobody should. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to make sure that we correctly identify who was killed, who was gunned down, and the fact that he is related to a politician. Now, my question behind that is, could it have been anything street-related or politically related? Because as they just said, the news report, this crosses over to international crime. But anyway, I want y'all to get into the comment section. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this story. Do y'all want more stories like this? Get down in the comment section and tell me how y'all feel about, you know, the story being mixed up. If y'all knew anything about this politician or know anything about this politician and his son, you know what I'm saying? Tell us a little bit more in the comment section. We would love to know. Also, make sure that y'all like this video and subscribe to this channel so more people can find our videos. And we gone.